Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Heroes of the Storm. Today we are continuing on our How to Tank series and we've landed upon Johanna. Now, for those of you who don't know, I hate Johanna. I think she is boring to play and really overpowered. One of the most overpowered heroes in the game. And it's because she has almost every single effect in the game. So to run through, she has a slow, an AoE slow, an AoE stun, uh, a blind... She also has a um, untargetable, so she can become untargetable and not take any damage from pyroblasts or things of that sort. This also grants allies unstoppable. She also can have a larger stun and a bigger AoE. Um, let's see, she has a even longer stun on... Keep in mind, these are very short cooldowns, 50 and 60 seconds. She has a personal shield that also grants unstoppable because why the heck not? Jumping into her talents, she now can have two charges of blinds. Why not? She also has a self-heal. Um, she got gambits. We have, um, let's see, a anti-heal, an instant mount. She has... A not just a normal AoE damage, but a even more broken AoE damage that nobody else has. She also has a um, momentum talent where she gets cooldown reductions. She has a self heal with this talent here. She has a death rattle and an ally shield. Additionally, with this alt upgrade, she has cooldown reduction on her ultimate ability as well as ally healing. This hero is broken. If you get a chance to pick Johanna in a game, you do it. Pulling up the list here, we have her set at uh, defensive because she is overall more defensive, but she can pump out an absurd amount of damage, and there's not much enemy teams can do about it whenever you are playing properly. But that's enough chit-chat. I've already spoken way too much, and we'll run over a bunch more while we're in the game, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Alright, we find ourselves on the Dragon Shire today. We have a healerless game, which means neither team has a healer. Um, which does affect me slightly, just because I typically do go Sins Exposed, but you can pick up the Instant Mount, or even any any of these talents are so good on Johanna. Uh, but because we have no healer, we are going to go ahead and pick up Laws of Hope at level 1, and I'll explain the talents after the game. So as Johanna... Uh, your main thing that you have is your blind. Your E ability is this big, very wide cone, very long, wide cone, that will um, blind enemies for one and a half seconds. So, very strong ability here. This is very good against their Zarya, is the main target we're going to be trying to focus on hitting it. So, whenever you pick uh, up Johanna, you want to be finding the hero that needs to be blinded the most and making sure that they don't get to have fun. Because Johanna loves people not having fun. That's probably her greatest quality. Additionally, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but Johanna has another little quirky thing. Because why not? She can uh, dislocate enemies. It's a small dislocation uh, where she's able to just pull in uh, groups of people. We're going to try to save my ally here. As well as pump out a little bit of damage. Um, and we're able to actually pick up the kill on the Valera. Unfortunately, though, it did cost us our Nova's life. Um, now, as far as tanks go, Johanna is... Uh, she deals pretty decent damage overall. Uh, our, our big bad butcher needs to be pretty careful. She does decent damage overall. Um, very mediocre wave clear, but better than some tanks. We're going to go ahead and pop our unstoppable here uh, because we're the... The Johanna, and we have that. We have both a shield and an unstoppable. A little baby portal will help get our Mediv out of there, not tank some damage. Which actually, didn't work out how I wanted it. And he took um, more damage than I would have liked. Time I to our core. But we're mainly uh, in the early stages of the game here, just trying to get our region globes stack up as high as possible. So I can tank that damage, and I really have no care in the world for them. As you can see, I'm disregarding them entirely because I'm Johanna. And I can. Um, we want both of these globes, so we'll let the minions kill themselves. And then just continue on our way. And hopefully help the friendly team out here. Uh, although, it does look like Zarya is coming in. I didn't anticipate this. Oh, I barely wasn't able to hit him uh, with the ability. We'll pop Unstoppable here once again, just to ensure that we don't get booped away. And pick up Hold Your Ground at level 4. Good talent here. But like I said, we'll explain the talents at the end of the video. I'm um, gonna go ahead and blind that Valera, which made it so she couldn't press her 
uh, damaging abilities to combo one of our allies to death. That would have been bad. Grouping up the minions for the friendly team. If you have an Asmodan on your team, uh, this is going to be super duper helpful for, for you. And with the help of the Butcher, we're able to pick up a nice kill there uh, on the enemy team's Valera. Unfortunately, Zarya is getting a little bit of a decent decent push here now. Uh, but with the good rotation of the friendly team, she's going to not be able to do that any longer. Um, And that dragon is, for the most part, not entirely, but for the most part, wasted. I'm going to go ahead in here and just immediately start to make this Zarya's life much more difficult. Um, we were actually able to just collaterally hit that Valera. I wasn't even aiming for her, but since our E's hitbox is so freaking big, uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll go in here now. Uh, once again, hitting that blind onto the uh, Valera to reveal her so she is nullified from these fights before they even start, really. Gotta be careful of right here. Uh, Ming might throw in a scary orb just like that. And I still want globes because globes help our level 1 talent. Uh, they'll help us scale into the late game. Uh, we're doing just fine on our globe globes right now. It could be a little bit better, but it could also be a lot worse. <clears throat> so Sins Exposed is the better pickup here, in my personal opinion. Um, nice pickup there by Butcher. And you can see me blinding some of those enemies is going to help him stay alive just barely long enough uh, to get his meat and get out. Uh, I will even go ahead in on the May here as I... Alright, yeah, with that ability by May, we're going to pick up Sins Exposed. I was debating between uh, Sins Exposed or Steady Charge or Steed Charge. Um, but I do think that Sins Exposed is just the better pickup. Despite them not having a lot of uh, healing capabilities. May has enough to make me want to pick it up. Um, I really want this globe in the mid lane. And then I'll head on down to the bot lane with the rest of the team. Our Butcher's at 86 meat, which is a little bit low for this time of game. Uh, I guess it's not that bad, really, though. Once again, revealing the Valera just to make her life worse. Make her day a little bit worse. Because um, it'll help us both tilt her, which is good, and progress us towards the win, which is even better. Um, This Zarya overextended herself just by trying to grab the globe from my possession, which put her in a bad position and a nice rotation by the Butcher will get us the kill. Uh, I am still looking for globes and level 10 is gonna be the big one for us now. I am cool to just help the friendly team push right down here in the bottom lane. We have uh, nice damage with Rainer. And I also wanna try to, once again, you see my blind coming in handy to just really make it hard for this Valera to have any fun in the game whatsoever. If you don't know, the uh, Sins Exposed talent that I picked up earlier, oh, I barely do miss my um, my blind on the Valera that time. But Sins, Ex Sins Exposed, my level 7 talent, it what it does is it will... Um, Reduce the healing of all enemy heroes hit by your Q for the next, uh, I think it's four seconds is what the talent was originally set to. Uh, three seconds, for the next three seconds. But every anytime you basic attack, this duration gets increased. Um, gonna try to help out the friendly team, but I, because I left them and abandoned them, they did unfortunately die. I really want the globe though. Hey, we got it. We'll take it. So now you can see we're pretty low. We can just press 1 and it heals us up for right now 30% of our maximum HP. I don't know what level 10 I want to pick. That's why I haven't picked it yet. And I think we're going to pick Blessed Shield. Uh, it'll just be the better talent for me. There it is. Able to come in here and deal some beautiful damage onto the uh, enemy teams. You can see, look at, that, look at that healing reduction. It's wrecking her. There's nothing she can do. I, I can blind you too, fool. She has more slows though. Oh no. Uh, but we are just such a powerful presence in these fights. And we haven't even picked up our damage talent. We do get a damage talent as this hero. And that comes at level 13. Uh, with Blessed Hammer. Or Blessed Hammer. I'm not quite sure what, what it is. We can check though. Blessed Hammer. 
Uh, this will allow us to... Ooh, I thought she was going to steal my globe. Um, but Blessed Hammer, whenever we pick it up, is the only pick. You can see this enemy, uh, May, is getting absolutely wrecked just due to the fact that um, I have unstoppables and anything else that I might need to stop this enemy team. I really want to turn off the cap, which I was actually able to do. We'll go ahead and hit both of these enemies. And uh, a nice long stun, but unfortunately for me, uh, I was... Eh! Okay, we're out of mana. That's fine. We're still going to pick up a triple kill because why not? We're Johanna. I lost my train of thought. Basically, we will deal a lot more damage when we hit level 13. Oh, and that's the only talent you should really be picking up at 13. Gonna go to base for mana. Uh, Johanna doesn't really have a mana problem, but she has so much sustain that after 8 minutes of pure terrorism on this enemy team, we will have to base. Uh, but Blessed Hammer, yes, yeah, the best pickup on this talent tier, I think, by far. Uh, whichever one you're thinking of picking, just make sure it's Blessed Hammer. Gonna go ahead and blind some of these enemies. Uh, just I don't want my allies to get taken out by some random random BS, which might be coming our way. You can see our Blessed Hammer revealed the Valera because reasons. We're gonna stand right here. So if our either of our allies are gonna get blown up by the Li Ming, uh, we will have their back. Or tank it first, rather. And I'm very scared for our butcher friend. There's the blind. Oh, I missed my R. That's okay, because it's on a two-second cooldown. Not literally. It's on a 60-second uh, cooldown. But that feels so short in the game of POTS. We're going to go ahead in here and blind a bunch of these enemies. As well as spam our uh, our hammer talent, which I should have been doing a little bit more than I already was. Press our one button. Go and reduce uh, this target's movement speed as well as healing and we're able to pick up yet again another kill uh, i want to stay close to this Li Ming in case she tries to pull any shenanigans on my friendly team uh, i do have another shield up and there it is we're able to use the shield hopefully to escort ourselves out um but valera is still missing which does does scare me a bit i don't know if it's safer to take the portal or not so we're not going to that portal look like death there's the valera and we're going to go ahead and tap quickly, and then we can re-engage in this fight, especially with our 1 coming up. So you'll see, get a little bit of health from that. But here comes 30% of our maximum HP, and we're full again, just because we are Johanna. Going to go ahead and land a R ability on this enemy. I need to be a little bit careful, though, because I did miss my uh, my blind on the Valera as I was trying to get the May killed uh, by playing a little bit more aggressively. But we weren't quite able to. I don't know if you can see, but our siege damage, soak, and hero damage is all very good. Uh, that might be enough to kill her. Two shots even. Oh, but a beautiful uh, shutdown by the enemy enemy team is going to make our life a little bit harder. We're going to go ahead in here on the enemy team's uh, Li Ming, who is getting all the kills in the world. Uh, I need to press my one button to get a little bit of healing rolling for myself. Hopefully, uh, we can continue to peel for the friendly team here. We're going to pick up Blessed uh, Momentum. And I didn't have my uh, iron skin up in time to block that maze ability. But we're full HP and we got enough kills. So we're going to go ahead and group these minions up here. Get the insanely strong cooldown reduction from uh, our level 13 and 16 talents. And just start to push down these buildings. Uh, I care not for this Valera very much. She means little to me. Because we have our one button, we just press that and heal for way too much. We have better wave clear than she does. We have so many abilities just to run and hide. And there's really not much that she can do about it. Uh, I kind of want to... There we go. We're able to land the ult on her. And that should be the death of her. Now we just got to make sure that my allies stay alive. So we're going to save our mana for uh, the blinds. And I am a little scared for myself. If I can get to the portal, I'll be just fine. So we're going to aim to do that. And we're able to... Butcher is charging in now. But I kind of want more globes, because one more globe gives me an increased 5% healing uh, on my level... Uh, oh boy. I should have held that body block. On my level 1 talent, I got an extra 5% healing, though. 
Gonna try to pull in the Zarya, which we were able to do. And Medivh's able to pick up a kill. He does have his stacks. So does Butcher. And once again, we're running a little bit low on mana. I could just Sippy Cup, but there's no real reason for me to do that when all my allies are healthy and two enemies are dead. Rainer's getting so much push value done. Um, and we have been... Top lane, is this is the first time we're really taking over top lane. It's been pretty back and forth, and I haven't been in top lane once yet this game. But we've been able to shut down the enemy team in the other two lanes so hard that there's nothing anybody can do in top lane. Uh, or, or we eventually whittle them down to the point where they can't do anything. That's what I should say. Once again, making that Valera's life incredibly difficult. I kind of want to even just press R here. I feel like I might have picked the wrong ultimate, the wrong level 10. Uh, they're both good. I picked this one because it has a little bit of shorter cooldown. Oh. I'm going to make sure I'm blinding whoever I can. Oh, I want to get that Valera out of stealth. So we're watching for Valera. We're watching for Valera. Waiting for our abilities to come off cooldown. Reducing her healing because we can. Trying to blind the... Uh, the Zarya, but it didn't quite work out in my favor. Uh, and we can just continue to spam our 2 button. Spamming 2 is going to be your biggest friend here. Oh, I was really hoping to be able to save my ally. I think we win this, though, just because Johanna doing Johanna things. Uh, I don't know if I win now, though. We do have Medivh out of birdie form, so... You see, top damage in the entire game. And it's not like I haven't been peeling for my allies either or keeping them healthy. Um, We've been doing a fine job of that as well. But just because we're Johanna, we can do all of these things, get top damage. And there's not much the enemy team can do to uh, say otherwise. Or we'll tap here. Why not? Uh, hopefully, Medivh's able to get out of there. It doesn't look like he's quite going to be able to. See the cooldown reduction on our uh, level 13 talent? Mm, so good. I'm not quite certain what I want here. I guess this is really good. They're all really good here. Not much that I'm concerned about. We'll probably pick up Blinded by the Light uh, so we can play some piano build. This will allow us to give a shield to a bunch of allies. I typically go uh, all of the level or the other ultimate abilities. Yeah, we'll ult her. I think we can kill her. Make sure to press R2. There we go. And I do actually see um, a wild Valera that has approached. We are going to get thrown back, so I'm going to make sure I'm spamming out my uh, 1 and 2 keys to try to keep myself and my ally alive. We weren't quite able to, though. Um, and that is unfortunately the sad death of an ally. And two of them, actually. We're going to do our best to just walk on out of here. Should be fine. Just keep running. Yeah, we have so much health. We're fine. We'll base now. Um, I am a little bit afraid for myself. So, no worries on basing here. Uh, one more globe and we'll heal, heal for 40% of our maximum HP every time we press our 1 button. Our 1 is on a 40 second cooldown, by the way. Uh, go ahead and help my ally out here a little bit. Make, making sure I'm spamming my 2 button. That's something I don't do often enough. There's our last globe. Uh, not last globe because this quest stacks infinitely. But it is a very uh, powerful globe for us. I was kind of hoping Lee Ming would rotate through here. It doesn't look like she's quite going to. Maybe we'll wait in the bush here and help the team out. Uh, specifically help the Rainer out whenever he gets paid a visit by these two enemies. There is the Valera. A nice reveal by him. And unfortunately, he's kind of getting ganged up on. We're going to go ahead and press R. And a nice blind will finish him off. Or her off, I should say. I want the Li Ming above all. And we're going to go ahead and pop our, uh, our our second shield that we get. Because Johanna things. Get it, Butcher. Finish the job. <laughs> She's running. Look at her go. But... No one can last forever against the Johanna team composition. You can see top in almost every stat. Maybe we'll try to get top in every stat just because uh, we're able to, you know? There's 
I, I, I know I've said it like a million times this game, but what is the enemy team going to do against this? What, what can they do? Are they going to stun me? Are they going to stun lock me? Nope, they can't. Are they going to just burn me down with auto attacks? Nope, they can't. Uh, are they going to try to out-out heal me? Nope, they can't even do that. There's nothing that they can do uh, to stop Johanna, as you can see right there. I don't really want to tank too much damage. But I do want to get top siege. Maybe I'll hop in the dragon just to make sure I get top siege. Ah, we got to keep top damage up as well. Uh, once again, stopping this Valera from getting much of anything done on either of my team teammates here. We got our cooldown reduction running from our level 16 talent. And we might even take uh, top siege here. It's going to be close. Rainer has top siege. Okay, yeah. Ain't no way we beat a Rainer in, in siege. We can mess up a Valir though. Oh, I probably shouldn't go too, too deep. I'm gonna try to get the cooldown reduction so we can spam out our uh, level 20 talent to he shield our ally, but I wasn't quite able to. So now I'm really just gonna be relying on... Uh, okay, on blinding enemies to stop their engagements. Get another little globe. A little bit scared of, of the whole enemy team there. Especially without me having all of these talents up. We're going to go ahead. Uh, I tried to stun those enemies, but I wasted my ult by the looks of things. We'll go ahead. A little bit of a blind. I just need to wait a few more seconds. Actually, we can just hit the core. And that's the video game. You see? Very close to top siege. Top damage. Uh, top ally shielding. Top self-healing. Top soaked. Johanna can do everything. No deaths. Six kills. It's... It's silly what she can do. She blinds enemies. There's nothing she can't do. And this is why uh, she gets banned in almost every single game. Because there's like there's nothing. <laughs> and enemies really struggle. Now, she does struggle a tad on peeling for her allies. Because her peel is her W talent. But she also has the blind, which she can do. She can be in the back line messing up uh, enemies like Li Ming, which makes it so they can't be in your back line hurting them. There's just so much she's got going for her. Uh, the build we went in today's video, this is the build I go in most of my games. Uh, Laws of Hope at level 1. This gives us a 20% heal that we can activate. It heals you over 5 seconds, and every 10 globes increases heal amount by 5%. We then go for Hold Your Ground. It increases the shielding of your shield by 40% and reduces cooldown by 2 seconds. Who was working for Blizzard when this hero was made? We then go for Sins Exposed. So Punish now reduces the healing of an enemy hero by 35% for 3 seconds. Leave it there, Blizzard. Just leave it there. Why do you have to add basic attacks refresh this duration? God, I hate this hero. Uh, level 10, we went for Blessed Shield. I would have picked the other alt in this game, but uh, I do think that I got a couple kills because of Blessed Shield, so still a, a good pickup. Uh, Blessed Hammer, it's like AoE damage, but better, um, because you get every third auto attack, you send hammers out that deal damage. This also, this cooldown gets reduced anytime you deal damage with a basic ability, so you can spam out uh, like three or four of them in a quick succession. It's nasty. We then go for Blessed Momentum to give us more abilities to spam out, as well as the extra attack speed is very strong. And then at 20, in this game, we went for Blinded by the Light. You grant a 25% shield to all allies for 3 seconds. Leave it there, Blizzard. Nope! Hitting heroes with Shield Glare reduces this uh, ability's cooldown by 8 freaking seconds. You can use this ability easily 2 times in a fight. If, you, if it's a longer fight, 3 times. This hero is nasty. I mean, I got nothing else to say. Freaking don't play this. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.